like a hundred years ago Life was easy then Or is it just the way the mind works? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be filming for you a get all done type of video, which is my favorite one to film. And I know this is kind of like your favorite to watch as well. But this one's gonna be a little different. I'm getting ready to clean the upstairs and then I'm gonna put some food in the slow cooker. But this time I'm actually gonna do my 4th of July wreath in my get it all done video. I've never done it this way before. Normally when I make any type of wreath, I just do a video by itself. But I put a poll on my YouTube community tab and my Instagram and the majority wanted to see it in a day in the life type of video, which is normally my get it all done videos. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. So without further ado, let's get started. I first start off in Destiny's room. Only thing I had to really do here is pick up a few things and wipe it down because of the dust in here. Y'all, it's been getting super dusty and it would have been a lot worse had I not had the purifiers in her bedroom. One thing that I definitely have been doing is trying to stay on top of the housework so that that doesn't pile up and get too bad. Destiny right here, she's actually on the ABC Miles. Once she finished her e-learning at school, they finish on May 8th. And after that, I got the ABC mouse for her so she could keep learning throughout the summer. Libraries and stuff like that here is still closed, but I always make sure she does something. The boys will also be helping me out cleaning upstairs. And then I got them the Adventure Academy. It's just like ABC mouse, only for older kids. And it's more like a virtual learning game, which they absolutely love. I don't have to force them or make them do any kind of score because they love it. Comment down below, have your kids also be, been in their PJs as well? My kids, it seems, been in their PJs almost every day. They maybe change once or twice a week. Of course, when they take a shower, they put PJs on. They always have clean PJs, but when they take a shower, they just put clean PJs on instead of clothes or anything like that. So I know I can't be the only one. We're not really going anywhere, so I figured might as well be comfortable. Here you will see me putting some essential oils in destiny's diffuser i did the same thing in the boys diffuser they love when i do this so what i did was added three drops of lime two drops of grapefruit two drops of lavender and two drops of spearmint and it smells amazing in the room David will be doing the vacuuming for the upstairs. Y'all remember when David was still doing his schoolwork, which I think was on purpose because he normally is the first one that finishes. Um, Devin was doing the vacuuming for the upstairs. So now it's David's turn. So while David is vacuuming the upstairs, Devin is in his room, well, in their room, and he is wiping down their furniture and stuff like that, which is a, is a big help, you guys, because it made cleaning a lot faster. 
I am in the kids bathroom getting wiped down getting ready to wipe down the mirrors and the sink and clean their toilet normally they try to stay on top of that but it's not as clean as when I clean it but that's completely fine I'm trying to teach them how to do their own chores so I'm getting ready to do that now but when I was filming I forgot to press the record button when I was wiping down the counters which really very rarely happens but it definitely happened this time upstairs i know that david's ha hamper was a little fuller than the other so i decided to do his laundry normally anytime i do the boys laundry all i do is wash it and dry it and they take it upstairs and put their own clothes away no matter how i tried you cured my But before I get started on my read, I always try to make sure I have dinner ready and set to go because once I get started, it takes me quite a few hours and by the time I'm done, I'm always tired. So right here, you will see me adding like three bags of meatballs. I think I used two pounds. I added the Rayo's spaghetti sauce, which I absolutely love. It's a little high, but I normally get it from Costco or Sam's Club and usually, usually it's a lot cheaper that way. So I just add, I sprinkle on some on there, some garlic powder, onion powder, and some Italian seasoning. I stirred it all up and I also added some Worcestershire sauce because I just love the way it tastes and that's it. it I put it on low and it cooked for like three four hours and that was spaghetti and meatballs so what I will what I will be doing is I will be boiling the noodles for my husband and kids and I will be spiraling zucchini noodles for myself because I'm trying to eat more low carb keto style not full blown but it has been working well for me So now I'm going to show you everything that I'm going to use to make my wreath. This is the Dollar Tree side. I found these in my cubby. I do have a lot of basically supplies for making wreaths. It's just that when I go to Dollar Tree, I buy for whatever they have for that season. Like this, de this red mesh too came from the Halloween fall section. This one came from the Christmas section, this silver one. So I'm going to use these two colors. I wish I had the blue, but I don't. So I was looking through my stuff first before I bought anything else. I got three of the deco mesh white, three of the blue, three of the red. I found this from the Christmas section at Dollar Tree and I still have some more. So I got two of these red ones and I'm going to use these red ones as the base for the ribbon, which means I'm going to use this as the bottom color and then I'll use a different roll 
different ribbon at the top. This is the sign that I'm gonna be using in the middle. And these are the foam scatter that I'm gonna be gluing on there. So this is the stuff that I got from Hobby Lobby. This is a 16 inch wreath form and it was $3.99. Most of the time it's on sale for 40% off or 50% off. I either do 16 inches or 18 inches. I don't normally do anything smaller than that because of the size of my door. I got this ribbon and it was $7.99 and unfortunately because it's 4th of July stuff, it was not on sale. Hold on, let me try to focus it. It was not on sale y'all so if you want you can wait for a sale. Also this one was $5.99 and this one is the red, white, and blue with the stars so I'm looking forward to using that. I got one of the sticks and this one is a rocket, not rocket, um, fireworks rocket, whatever you call this thing. So anytime I put any kind of decor on my wreath, I always do it in three. So I just got one and then I got the, the, the sticks. So pretty much when you do a wreath, you can do whatever you want on there. And I also got these foil picks. I don't know how I'm going to incorporate this one, but I'll try and see. And then of course you're definitely going to need some hold on one second I have to talk to my daughter so you're definitely gonna need some pipe cleaners so a pack of pipe cleaner doesn't matter what color it is most of the time when I use pipe cleaners I always try to get it as close to the pop as close to possible as the color I'm gonna be using so it can blend in with the deco mesh one of the first thing I always recommend doing is cutting up your deco mesh first I always start off with one of each color it saves you tons of time and when I cut the deco mesh I cut between four to six inches and most of the time I eye it because I've been doing it for so long but it's pretty easy to do and it will save you tons of time All I see is I will tell you this when it comes to deco mesh if I can find it I Dollar Tree that's where I get it from it's very hard to find if you don't get it right away when it comes to Dollar Tree a lot of crafters here in the area that I live in so when they see stuff they buy it right away so it's hard to find so if I don't find it at Dollar Tree I go to Hobby Lobby and get my deco mesh from there So this is the way I do it. Anytime I use pipe cleaners, I always cut the pipe cleaners in half because if not, it's going to be too long. And some people will not cut it in half. They just cut it afterwards. And I just rather cut it in half. One, it saves you when it comes with, to the deco mesh and it, you don't have to do double the work. I'm going to show you how I make my bundles. I roll my deco mesh, so I roll three. So here I'm going to be using one of each color and then I keep them between my fingers. I keep them together and then I'm going to use one of the pipe cleaners to wrap it around the, de the deco mesh two times. Now it's time to put it around the wire wreath form. So when I wrap the pipe cleaner around the, the wreath form, I do it between the two middle wires and you just wrap it around nice and tight on there. We were young and foolish then. Oh, how I wish we could go back again. So if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to hit that like button because it helped my channel a ton when you like and you share and you subscribe. It helps my channel get pushed out there a little bit more. So 
this part is optional. You do not have to use the mesh tubing. I always choose to have it if they have it in store. So what I'll do is just make a bow out of both colors and just wrap the tubing just like you did with the deco mesh around the wreath form. Now I'm using the cardboard that came with the deco mesh to measure out my ribbon. So whenever you cut a ribbon, you always want to cut three to four inches longer than the, what the deco mesh is because you want the ribbon to pop out above the deco mesh so you can see it. So for example, you will see me here using the the tubing as measurement and then once i cut the ribbon i will put both ribbons that i will be using together and just cut again to make sure they're both exact same size i fold it in half and then i fold it in half again and then i will cut i will show you right here how i cut it to make the fishtail whenever i do my reefs i add the ribbon after four and five bundles of deco mesh so once i added four to five depends on how the wreath is looking that's when I add the ribbon because you don't want all the ribbon to be so close together So well, this wreath actually took me about four and a half hours to do and this was a 16 inch inch wreath form had i used the 18 inch wreath form it probably would have took another hour but that's how long it normally takes for me and usually during this time i either watch youtube videos listen to my audiobook or music it's a sour taste in it it's a sour taste to be fooled again honey to be fooled again Stole my heart and ripped it into pieces Yes, you did You know it's not the way I planned No, it's not the way I wanted Okay, y'all, so I am done with the main part of my wreath So this is what it looks like so far I will give you guys a closer up look This is my least favorite part to do because it takes me about four to five hours to do but now i'm getting ready to do my favorite part which is adding the embellishments and the whatever the decor now on to my favorite part of making the wreath which is decorating the wreath and this part i always make sure that the sign is right in the middle so it doesn't look crooked or too much to the left or too much to the right the glue gun that i have i got this from the grocery store called Lidl's. it's just like aldi and they still sell it there as a matter of fact but whenever i use a glue gun i always make sure to use the gorilla glue sticks they work amazing and whenever you use it nothing falls off we've even had hurricanes and really bad winds and nothing came off my reefs my reefs did end up down the road but <laughs> i mean that that has nothing to do with the gluing of the of my reef so those whenever i do uh, use a glue gun i always make sure to use gorilla glue sticks which i bought mine from amazon but you can also find them at hobby lobby walmart at pretty much wherever so when it comes to decorating a wreath, it has a lot to do with your own style. A lot of people like less stuff and a lot of people like more. I'm in, I like a lot, bunch of stuff on my wreath, fireworks, sticks, stars, everything you could think of, flowers, whatever. I like to add it onto my wreath. So I love the way my wreath turned out. It's been a minute since I made a wreath. The last time I made one was around February and I felt like I was a little bit out of practice. I watched a ton of YouTube videos and that's how I made, I learned how to make my own wreaths. So I hope this tutorial helped you out a ton.
It's time for the cleanup part. That's another part I do not like to do. It's a bunch of stuff everywhere, a lot of mesh, a lot of glitter. And so now I gotta clean up before the kids eat dinner. Then it looks like I my husband spiraled some spaghetti some zucchini noodles and then I sauteed it with olive oil and garlic and added some Himalayan salt and, and pepper and then I added the meatballs with the Rayo's sauce on there so that'll be my spaghetti meatballs so right now I am boiling some noodles for my husband and kids so they can have it with regular noodles so I hope you guys enjoyed this get it all done video y'all I am tired. I'm having back pain and everything. My husband said he got the kitchen. So once I finish with the food and stuff, everybody's fed. I'm going to go take a shower and relax. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And keep a lookout for my next videos, guys. Bye.